What up? What up, Dalekars? Go fuck yourselves. How are we? Yeah, this is a badass song. This is the Cro-Mags. song's called World Peace. As always, if you want to know any of the songs from the stream, I have a uh, playlist on Spotify. My name is Zach Picklefeed on Spotify. The playlist is called Twitch Meetings or Twitch Intro or some shit like that. Um, is this one on there? They're all on there. But anyway, before I get totally violated for DMCA, let's fucking reel it in a little bit, everybody. How are you? How are you, my friends? Let me quit out some of these apps that I don't need to be open, that are open. Okay, looking good, looking better. My wife is naked waiting for me, but Zach decided to stream. I know, dude. I get you, man. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Is this the run? This is the run. We're doing a new run. I'm going for it all over again. Come on, Zach. Come on, dude. I got pretty far last run. I'd say I got about two-thirds of the way through, three-quarters of the way through the game. I see what you're saying. I should practice some of the late-game bosses. I mean, dude, I can beat the dancer. It's just sometimes you get a bad bounce. The dancer got me. I, I hit the dancer early. So I, I went to that boss before the game would have you do it. I went in rolling with friends, Rangina, and I think it was... Who the fuck was it? Was it? It wasn't O'Brien. I think it was um, uh, Abgabgab. What? I'm gonna get his name wrong. Uh, forgive me, buddy, if you're here. All right, let's start. Let's call this guy T for no reason whatsoever. And why don't I go ahead? Let's go Young White Branch, just cause. And let's fucking get out there and let's start collecting some souls. You know what I mean? Let's go. We're back at it. Show enough. What's up? Having a good day, Kapoof Luffy. How are you, my friend? Bro, I can't even beat the first boss in this fucking game. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. That's a limiting belief, dude. <laughs> That's some cult shit right there that I just said. That's a limiting belief you have, and you need to address it. Let's audit you. Um, an Xbox stock one PC was a good oppositional stance. Dude, I'm very excited to try and get myself a little PlayStation 5 today at 6 o'clock my time. Um, I'll put this out there. <laughs> well, I'll wait. I'll wait and think about what I was just about to say. You guys are getting things done this morning. Is that what you said? Completely fluffy? Good. All right. I'm glad. Killer, what's up, buddy? How are you? Uh, my day is good. I, I'm, I'm having a good one. He's going to beg for it. I'm going to beg for a PS5. I was thinking about how I could beg for it. I was literally thinking, like... How can I maximize my chances of getting a PS5? What if I were to say to chat, if anyone in chat gets their hands on a PS5, I will pay for the thing, I will pay for shipping, and I will give you 50 bucks. But then I'm like, is that tacky? Maybe that's tacky. And then what if like five people get it today, and then I have to buy five PS5s and spend 250 bucks? That's crazy. 50 bucks, LOL. Dude, I don't know if you've already got one, or if you can get two in your cart. Make 50 bucks, send it to me. I feel like that's not a bad way, dude. That's not a, I'm not making a bad deal. Is that trashy? I'm not saying that deal's on the, yeah, that deal is on the table. By the way, if you were to write me up tomorrow and be like, hey, I got a PS5 with your name on it. All you gotta do is send me 50 bucks and, and, uh, and cover shipping. Y you got yourself a customer, my friend. I would be down. Yeah, it's not a bad deal. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not exploiting anybody. I feel like 50 bucks is very fair compensation for clicking and dragging. Oh, I missed the fucking shard. What up, Principal Rolls? I haven't seen you in a while, my friend. Good to see your name on here. Um, hey, Derek, are you on? Is Lunar Elephant on here? I wonder if he unbanned that guy that has been begging on, our, on Derek's in my YouTube channel. Good luck on getting a PS5. Just a word of advice. COD Black Ops seriously slows down your PS5 while it installs. I don't know if you want that, though. You know what, dude? I'm so annoyed with, with the amount of space that Call of Duty demands. It's like my PlayStation has become like a Call of Duty machine that happens to run a couple of other games. I mean, they have how many hundreds of my gigs? It's kind of crazy. Dr. Chug Butt Mud, it's, it's... I'm going to allow your comment. I don't know why it 
held your comment because you said sluts, I guess. I don't I don't think that's a bad thing to say. You're not talking you're not like whatever. It's cool in my book. In this context. Um BO3 is like sixty eight gigabits or some shit. It's base game, it's nuts. Dude, sixty eight gigs is nothing, dude. Warzone, I'm telling you, they have at least 250 gigs in my hard drive. Am I wrong? I don't think I'm wrong about that. It's Cuckoo Bananas. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Silent Thero Theroix. I can't, I can't read. It's hard for me to read and do this. Grant, what up, dude? Leaf Beaver, what up, my man? How are you guys? Got some of my faves in here right now. It's pretty cool. The Jew Jeans, what's up, buddy? Yeah, 250 gigs. That is fucking ridiculous, dude. How do they justify that? Ooh! You! You got me on the on the drop. I fucked that one up. Come here, you punk. I think I died to this guy once on this no death run. Which was just humiliating. Because I can usually no hit this guy. Not this time, though. Baby. I, dude, I just went to the grocery store with my wife. Because apparently we go to the grocery store every day, which I've complained about. But on the way back, <laughs> she was playing the Empire Records soundtrack. And that fucking Gin Blossom song was on. I don't want to take advice from fools. Dude, what is worse than getting a song that you hate stuck in your head? It happens to me all the fucking time. Ronjana, what up, dude? You want to play? I'm, trying to, I'm, I'm I'm still hating myself for for my colossal failure. Although, dude, I I should go back and rewatch how I died yesterday to dancer. I mean, that was just some bullshit. I'm not saying that I was robbed. I mean, I fucked up and I got killed, but it was just like, god damn it. It was. It was sometimes you get a bad bounce. He spammed some combos. That's that's all I'm saying, buddy. You know you know what I'm trying to say. That's exactly it. I was spammed. Until I hear it from you. I hate that song. I fucking hate it. And I, I hit skip, and then my wife was like, why are you skipping this? I was like, because the Jim Blossom's fucking suck. <laughs> and she's like, no. And then she put it back on. Can you imagine? I'm so judgmental with music, as, as everyone on this stream knows. Could you imagine being married to me and putting a song on? You, you think that's, that's a cakewalk for anybody that's ever been in a car with me? It's not. I'm not easy. I'm judgmental as fuck. Yo, Midnight Rider. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the Prime sub. Three months? You fucking angel, dude. I have a four-year-old who just had a baby shark birthday. Oh, God. Dude, okay, so I was at Trevor's house. This was like a year ago, and baby shark was like top of the charts. I heard baby shark six times because he's a little toddler who like can work the Alexa. So it's just like baby shark. And then I went out to sushi with my wife, and I'm telling you, the sushi restaurant was playing an adult techno remix of baby shark what the fuck get up there get up there you bitch zach i think you're pretty easy to you'd be pretty easy to please you and i would have a great road trip yes well yes because you and i ron Gina, we do have similar tastes the fact that you recommended his hero is gone to me which you had no idea but that was like my favorite band for a year of my life in high school yes i agree Um, but if you are a girl eight years younger than me who has no interest in underground music and you're married to me, whew, look out. <laughs> Get ready for the judgment train. It's leaving the station. Dude, stop gesturing, you fucking dickhead. There it is. Here we go. Esther Shard. Oh yeah, one no death run. I fell off this and died. So that that was that was good. I'd like a montage. Somebody should make a montage of all my deaths and the no death runs. I wonder if I make the same reaction every time where I throw the controller down and I go like, no. Yesterday when I came out, my wife was in the other room. She's like, here's my impression of your streams. And I was like, here we go. She goes, no. Oh, how did I die? Uh, she's probably right. Uh, Zach, have you seen Possum? You know what? Wait, the horror movie Possum? Are you cool? You mentioned 
Also cool, you mentioned Pig Destroyer Gore from Nosebleed yesterday, too. Yes, well, JR, I know JR from Pig Destroyer, and I know their original drummer. And Gore from Big Nosebleed, you know, my brother, Ron Gina, just, just for whatever this is worth, you might appreciate this, is, is a dude named Jake Kreger, who is a drummer in a fucking ton of those kinds of bands. He's really good. He's always in, like, five bands that are always on tour. So, like, right now he's in a band called Triac and Mannequin and a bunch of bunch of stuff. Anyway, check him out. But, um, so, like, he, all, like, Pig Destroyer played a show in my basement. Agoraphobic Nosebleed recorded a record in my basement. Uh, Enemy Soil. All these, all these hardcore bands used to come play shows and practice in our basement. Um... Which is fun, but it's that's more due to my brother being cool than than me being cool. Um, wait, wait, wait! I have to a lot. I have to get my head together. I have a checklist that somebody made for me. Okay. Um, so I'm guessing you died. I died yesterday. Yes, I did. Santa crab. Yes, it sucked. I died to the dancer. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but that's okay. That's all right. All right, let's just get my fucking vigor up. Let's let's just get the violence popping. Let's get right into the violence. Uh, I don't have a wife because I am unlovable. Hey, man. I don't think that's true. Although, Retro Reed, were you the one I was yelling at yesterday for being mean? I don't think you're unlovable, but I think you could be nicer. Dirk, Dirk the pizza jerk says R.I.P. Zach. Okay, well, now you're being mean. Now you are the mean one, Dirk. Is Giant Dad a viable build in Dark Souls 3? I don't know what that means. Mm -mm -mm. Someone please make Zach aware of Dancer's time signature. I don't know. Uh, yeah, somebody make me aware. Somebody, somebody, give me a goddamn clue. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, let me let me spark a fatty here. Let's summon. Is this Munch? Let's go, baby. All right, Munch. You know how I do. Let's go this way. Down. You know, you know what we do. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna get into it, man. You don't know Giant Dad? No. What is Giant Dad? Is that a thing? Does everyone know this? Leaf Beaver thinks, but <laughs> handsome Zack makes me laugh. Are you? Oh, you! This fucking sword hits the wall. Till I hear it from you. Fuck you. Fuck you, dude. Oh, sorry, I fucked up the backstab. Let's skip that. Let's just get into it. I don't need to go collect every little fucking thing. Oh, you know what, dude? Ron Gina just dropped down to that platform. I never even realized that that thing was there. Look at me. Fucking knucklehead. All right, I'm going to run up and do this dragon spiel, Ron Gina, but you, you do whatever you want to do. Till I hear it Get this fucked. Zach, please. I know. I'm, I'm done. Gold bug. I apologize. I, I, I'm mad at myself, dude. As mad as you think you are, I'm more mad. Ugh. Fucking annoying. That song sucks so bad. So, you know, my buddy played a show. He's in that band of Montreal. And they, they played a concert with the Gin Blossoms and said that they were, like, the most entitled assholes. What a weird pairing, by the way, of Montreal and the Gin Blossoms. Like, who likes both of those bands? Oh, shit. Oh, nice, Rangina. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Empire Records was a movie, not a good one, but it was still a movie. Yeah, I, I don't remember really caring about that movie. I feel like I saw it like when it came out, but it didn't it didn't really matter to me. I'm going up, I'm doing the bonfire and getting the Titanite shard. And then we gotta go fight that roof snake person. Well, what you know a guy wait, what you know a guy from up Montreal? Yes. Yes I do. I've talked about that before. Of Montreal, yeah, they're from they're from Athens. Kevin Parker said most rock bands he toured with absolutely sucked, and most indie artists he worked with were super cool. Okay, 
I don't who's Kevin Parker? Is he in the gin blossoms or something? Alright, dude. Oh, you know what? I didn't collect any fucking um Uh firebombs! I don't have any firebombs on China. Oh well now I do. Alright. We're just gonna have to double team this fucking thing. Woo! One, two, three. Nice hit! Nice! Oh, you got the flaming sword? Look at you, dude. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Alright, let me go get this little bug. Come here, little bug. Ooh, that's gotta hurt for you. Uh, hey, Zach, did you get my message? I had a PS5 in my cart, and on the complete sale, whatever, it was sold out. Yeah, I've had that happen to me multiple times. It's fucking annoying. Hey, Zach, do you remember the band Dishwalla? They had a one-hit counting blue cars. Yeah, that band sucks. We count only blue cars. What a... Tell me all your thoughts on God. That, ugh, that song's terrible. Can you have crotch cam next time, Zach? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great idea. I'll get right on that. Uh, how do I donate without subs? Well, you can... I think there's a donation link on our Twitch page, by the way. Um, and, um, yeah, there's, there's definitely multiple ways to do it. There's a PayPal link on our Twitch page. Um... Somebody else can tell you how. I, I don't know much about this stuff, but it is very appreciated and it all goes to the movie. So, so please, by all means, help us. We're down this month, man. We are. We this month we're on track to make half as much as we made last month. I don't know what is going on. I also think it's partly a lot of our Twitch traffic is probably driven by our YouTube traffic, and we have not been posting to YouTube, which is somewhat my fault. Do you like drama rama? I don't know what that is. Holiday fatigue for spending? Very likely. Very likely. Also, we are in a fucking recession pandemic. You know, there's a lot of reasons. Although we've been in a pandemic ever since we started, so I don't know. But yeah. Um, getting subs isn't as good for creators as straight up donations. Okay. Look, I'll, I'll take whatever, man. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sure donations are, 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 are probably more to our financial benefit. Look at Ron Gina just ripping these dudes. But, uh, hey, subs are good. What's Higboner's idea? Make a Kickstarter where we can buy Timmy's baked goods. That is a good idea. Well, we need to make a... Uh, we need to do a go... That's Darren's job, to make a GoFundMe. He's been... Dude, no, everyone is, like, asleep at the wheel. We need to do our GoFundMe. We should we, we should be putting up, like, good rewards for that stuff. I, I don't know, dude. We're, we're, we're not good at raising money. Oh, shit. Nice. Good job. Um... That's marketing. You're marketing. I am. Uh, why don't you make a Patreon? Because I feel like the Patreon is going to be require like us to like triple our work. And maybe I'm wrong about this, but I feel like a Patreon is like we would have to be like generating not only the content we're generating with like Bockerson and Myers and sketch commentary and self like Saturday and Newsboys and Collective Souls and Depressed Losers, but then we'd have to come up with like new regular content for the different tiers of donors and it's like dude we just don't we don't have it in us man. like people have other things they're working on am i wrong about that i feel like that's right you can do more triple x stuff on patreon we can see timmy's balls yeah so i don't know if i sent you 500 bucks would you send me your chair 100 percent, i would i would done yes i'm not joking I should put the chair on eBay, but yeah. Uh, 
quick question for you, Zach. Will you guys be doing one auction or will we be doing auctions throughout the year? What, I don't think we're doing auctions, my man. I mean, I was talking about auctioning the chair, but I, I don't think we're doing like auctions about stuff. If it's multiple, I can get, get stuff to you. Oh, oh, Paratarian, you're talking about the, um, the weapons you're making. Yes, dude, however you want to do it, man. Like, for anyone who doesn't know, Paratarian is like, are you a blacksmith? Is that, is that, do I have that right? But he, he makes weapons. So he's going to make Buckerson and Myers, like, themed weapons. Like, so, like, a, a, a Dirk for Hyphen. And, all right, let's go, Ron Giant, and get that other. I'm coming, I'm coming. Sorry, buddy. Muscle memory had me go up trying to do the fire pit. But, um, so, yeah, why don't we do multiples? We can do, a, we can do like, you know, if you make one, we'll put that one up for auction, and then we'll do... A couple months later, do another one. I don't know. I, we're not gonna. We're gonna be having to raise money for this movie for more than a year. You know, this is not gonna be uh, over anytime soon. But last I checked, just just FYI, I think we've raised so far 55 G's, and we have talked. We we've also negotiated our price down from 375 to 300. Now that doesn't count taxes, but we are like we're definitely making good progress. Like the the movie is is coming along. We're not like. I know I've been a little complainy today about our fundraising situation, but like we're we're gonna we're gonna make it. We're doing okay. Nice one, John. With the fire weapon. That's all you need, baby. Uh, Kickstarter takes 15%. I know you're gonna get fleeced no matter what. It kind of sucks. All right, this is good. Okay, so Ron Gina, I do want to go get the blue tearstone ring and all that shit. Should we just go down and fight the boss? And then I get the blue tear stone. Let's just do it. Let's just fight him. We've got this in the bag. We're not going to die to the fucking Boreal Vort, whatever the fuck his name is. Oh, hop on. Uh, if the initial do well, I'll pump out as many as I can. Yeah, dude, Paratown, don't, don't break your fucking, you know, whatever, doing this. But I am so fucking excited for that. I hope people are into it. I mean, I'm into it. We got to, I don't know how we can, how we can help, like, make them, I don't know how we can help sell these things. Like, maybe we have to do, like, a photo spread or something, or, like, we're, us with our, with our weapon, you know? I don't know. That's also, like, how realistic is that in the fucking pandemic? So oh, nice, dude. Um... Also, you know what I need to do today is I need to write the guy from Twitch who said that if I emailed him, he would put us on the front page. So I need to be like, I need to get us on the front page for our next Self Suck Saturday. Because I bet there's a lot of people who like, like Whitest Kids, but are still not aware that we're doing any of this stuff. You know what I mean? baby Ooh. this is such an easy boss it's kind of stupid he's just he's just not hard there it is there it is what's white as kids I love it I love it. I would be thrilled, dude, if there was somebody that got into Collective Souls but had no idea what Whitest Kids was. That would make me fucking stoked. Um, really? Okay, Nasty Nate. Thanks, buddy. That's good to know. Uh, 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 okay, so let me go back to the shrine. Let me get my shit together. If the destination is the movie... Then this is the most enjoyable ride ever. Thanks, bud. Don't sweat the movie so much because you've been entertaining us. Well, I'm glad to hear that, man. Thanks, buddy. Uh, Zach, the fans are requesting a sexy Whitest Kids You Know calendar. I don't want to be taking sexy photos of us. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. That's not a good move for, for any of, anyone. Not for you, not for us. Okay, so let's... Dude, I'm going longsword again. 
Is this the right move? This is the right move. Let's do it. Oh, fuck. I need one more shard. Are you kidding? Brutal. What's up, lady? Uh, let's go endurance. Uh, what if it's a calendar of all your female characters? Well, that I would be down with, but then it would have to be like screen grabs. It would look a little shitty, right? Wouldn't it? Um, I'm going to get that ring. Shitting on purpose. Okay, look. Yeah. Um, I'm down. Hey, if somebody wants to take the reins... I don't have the bandwidth to make that calendar, but if somebody else wants to like claim that responsibility, no joke, like please make it. We'll, if you're cool with us selling it, I'm cool. I'm cool to do it. I mean, I I, I like the idea. I do like that idea. Um. Also, okay, so I was thinking of a tattoo idea. Is this a lame tattoo idea? I'm just gonna say it. I was thinking of a tattoo that kind of combines my love of like punk and comedy and horror and all of these things. I, maybe I should wait before I say this out loud. Everyone always yells at me for being blue balls guy. But I was thinking about getting a tattoo that is like, first I was like maybe the Abraham Lincoln portrait, you know, of him with his like messy hair with the crimson ghost over his face. And then I was like, yeah, it's a little on the nose. I think I've seen it. But what about just like a fucking Abe Lincoln portrait with the skull over his face? I feel like, and like just small, just like a tiny little bust of Abe Lincoln with the skull face. I think that would actually be kind of rad. And if it looks kind of shitty and messy, I think about getting that like on one of my arms. I should never, I'm breaking my own rule of never talking about tattoos before you get them. But I feel like it's kind of cool. Skeleton Lincoln. Just just like just like his shoulders and his head, real small, with a little skull for a face. That's pretty fucking fun. I kinda like it. I think I might get that. I'm so bored, dude. I've been fucking quarantining. And I feel like I just need some <laughs> stimulation, dude. I can't do anything. I can't go anywhere. It's like getting a tattoo feels like some way to like mark time almost. How fucking weird is that? Get a tattoo that says Wow Zach, but the O is a pentagram? No. This whole Wow Zach thing, I, I'm not quite sure how I feel about Wow Zach. Where, did, where are the daggers? Wait a minute. There's always daggers here. Did I already grab them? I didn't grab them. Never get a meme tattooed? What's it? I'm not getting a meme. My Lincoln thing's not a meme, is it? No. Wow Zach is the meme? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Fifty bucks. Owen Wilson already did wow. What, is, what does that mean? What does it mean? Oh, why am I? What, dude? What? Okay, what's happening with this guy? Why did that guy just take half of my health? Uh, all right, back to the dancer. Get the banner. On to the next level. Zach, we're running out of spring mix salad and Vaseline. Okay. Will the skull have Lincoln's beard? Yes. Yes, it would. Yes. Do you like Roller Coaster Tycoon? Never played it. Hey, Zach, do you remember the song Simpin' by Boys to Men on the White Men Can't Jump soundtrack? No, I don't know it. I have a Jurassic Park raptor wearing the hunter's hat with a clever girl written underneath it. Fun fact, Sam Neill retweeted it. Very cool. Before you do that, Zach, look up the Ex Machina comic with almost that same concept art, but with a very naughty word under it. What's the word? Uh, I'm curious about what you're talking about. Baby. Oh, don't, don't do it, Zach. Don't sing that fucking song. Fucking sucks. Come here, you bitch.
Uh, Zach, don't ever think this. There are no strings attached. Fruity Pebbles or Cocoa Pebbles? Cocoa Pebbles. So, Kibia Sally, what are you working on? What, what did I miss? God, I feel like I'm missing so many interesting things. Woo! Ah. Give me that backstab, you fucker. Come here, you fuck. Come here. Is she a big fat person? Was she a great big fat person? Dead. Sodomy. Can't remember the last time you ate cereal? Dude, I still love cereal. If I could, I would eat fucking Frosted Flakes, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Cap'n Crunch exclusively, and I would be so happy. I would just get diabetes and die in like a week. That's the only problem. Ever see One Cut of the Dead, the Japanese movie? Uh, I started it, and I was liking it, and I was like, oh, I need to, I need to like watch this when I can actually watch it. Uh, and then I never did. French Toast Crunch never had it. Would it have the bullet hole? No, because he got shot in the back of the head. Come on, man. Tom Green fan? Yeah, no. Yes. I don't I don't dislike Tom Green, but I'm not like a he's not one of my guys, but like Freddy Got Fingered's cool. Oh, are you guys talking about having actual women cosplaying as the the whitest kids characters? That's funny. That's a funny idea. Like a, a actual woman as baked beans. Holy shit. Do you like Red Letter Media? I like what I've seen. Do you like Anthony Jeselnik? Yes, I do. What if it was a side profile of Lincoln? Well, then it wouldn't be that iconic Lincoln thing that we all recognize instantly. No, I wouldn't do the side. It's got to be the 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 image we all we all know. Get rich Evan on lurking deep. What up, buddy? How are you, Todd? My man. Todd got so mad at me that I didn't say Tremors was the best horror movie. <laughs> he was like, "I got a bone to pick with you." That was funny. All right, skip all that shit over there. Come here, dogs. Ooh, yeah, just cleaning these dogs up. Don't hit me! Tremors wasn't that good? No, Tremors is a good movie. I like Tremors a lot. It's It was like one of those first horror movies to be like legit funny and... I, I don't think Tremors is scary, but I don't think any horror movie is, is scary really, but like... Or, or there, there are some that I do, but it's very, very rare. But it's just a good movie. I don't know. It's it's. I, I would never say Tremors is not good. Kevin Bacon, he's the fucking... He's the man. Even these compliments that I'm throwing to Tremors, I know Todd is like, No! It's the best! No! It's not good! It's great! I'm not even trying to do a, a, your accent, Todd, because I'll just embarrass myself. <laughs> he says, I sure am. That's exactly what he's doing. Yeah, I thought so. All right. Fireballs. I got this. Stand back. Stand back, Rangina. Boom. All right, you fucks. Let's go. What up, gonna make it, Gary? Is that a reference to the Gary conversation that we had the other day, or has that been your name for a while? I remember I was giving Timmy a hard time about some town named Gary. I know there's a Gary, Indiana, but I actually thought it was Geary, Indiana. I didn't know it was Gary. Oh shit, he got ya. Damn. Uh, 
Uh, all right, which way do we go, Munch? Usually I go over the bridge, but what's your... I'm gonna follow you. What route do you take? You you lead on. I'm gonna I wanna go your your way. Oh, you go this way. Okay. I feel like this is kind of the standard path, right? This is probably the path most people do. I always go a weird wonky wonky route. But I'm I'm a unique individual, you know? So that's that's just that's why I do things like my own snowflakey way. Uh, what, isn't that a song? I live in Indiana. Gary, Indiana, Gary, Indiana, in something, yeah, there's some song about it. I don't know how it goes. It's gotta be from some fucking stupid musical. Shredded. You just got shredded, bro. Oh, I didn't get the Titanite shard up there. That was dumb of me. Fuck. That was stupid. See, why am I kicking? Don't kick. Don't kick stuff! Remember that? I was joking about that yesterday, how much I love that line. Oh, what are you? What are you? <laughs> Don't kick stuff! Arachnophobia was supposed to be a comedy, but fuck that shit. As an Australian, you're taught to fear spiders. Well, I loved that. That was another good one. What are other good movies in that vein? Like, Tremors and Arachnophobia definitely have a lot in common. They're both, like, one-foot horror, one-foot comedy. A little more in horror. Definitely Arachnophobia is a little more horror, but, like, Arachnophobia is not afraid to go straight-up comedy. Like, when John Goodman, you know? He's fucking funny. Uh-oh. Oh, who put a sign down? Who do we have here? Doc Nine. Welcome to the party, pal. Let's go. I gotta go get that Titanite up here. One second. And since I have the young white branch, we can just go across to the tree. We don't have to deal with all that bullshit. So, we major. Oh, we major. Eight-legged freaks. Never saw eight-legged freaks. Not gonna lie, not a big David Arquette fan. If I see the David Arquette's in a movie, it makes me less interested in seeing the movie. And he was in Scream, which I did like. I'm a, I'm a fan of Scream. Your friend had you one of those blah 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 freaks of nature in that movie is fucking amazing. Okay. Never seen Freaks of Nature. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, they changed the name of it. I was actually, yeah, I went with him on set to Freaks of Nature. I was there when they were shooting some of that movie. Um, yeah, that's cool. I'm glad you liked it. That movie fucking tanked. That was too bad for them. So you've never seen Ready to Rumble? Nope. David Arquette's such a nice guy. Great. I interviewed him recently. Really, really nice guy. I'm glad. I'm sure he's nice. I'm glad to hear that. I just, you know, for whatever reason, I don't connect with him as a, as a performer. But that's okay. But I never knew. God, I love Bone Tomahawk. Okay, you wanna? What? What? What is happening? What's wrong with you people? Are we gonna do this now? Are we doing this? Come on now. Oof, you got me. You little bitch. You little fucker. Bring that bitch face over here so I can cut it off. That is such a over the line thing to say to somebody. <laughs> uh, don't die here, bro. Hope that I'm talking allegorically. I miss getting 24 sliders at crystals. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? You can eat 24 sliders? Jesus. Is Rangina better than Zack? I think that he probably is. Although he has a very OP build for where we are in this game. But I'm willing to bet he's a better he's better than me.
Hey, Zach, have you seen Death Becomes Her? Death Becomes Her is one of my fucking favorite movies. I love it. I'm not, not joking. Top 10. It is so funny and dark and weird and Meryl Streep, Goldie Hawn, Bruce Willis all crushing it. Oddly, maybe my favorite Bruce Willis performance because he's playing like a beta cuck loser instead of this like aloof alpha like action dickhead. He's like, he's great in it. That, that movie's so fucking good, dude. Highly recommend. Rangina, where are you, dude? Oh, shit. Okay, really don't want to die here. There he is. Okay, alright. Again, my job in these fights is not to get in there and do all the damage, but to just stay alive. Hit that front left leg, dudes. That's what we want to hit. Oop. Yikes, that was close. Got it. Alright. Love isn't always on time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Alright, here we go, here we go. Jesus. Come on now. Oof. I'm trying to hit his little back boogers. Ooh! Dude, that almost killed me. That would have fucking sucked. I really don't want to die to this fucking piece of shit. Oh no, Munch died? Fuck. Careful, Doc. Okay. Just took a big old chunk out of this guy. Come on now, Doc. Come on, buddy. Hit him. Look out. Don't get fucking pounded by the hand. Come on, Doc. Oh, shit. There it is. We got him. Nice. Good job. Whew. That was a little more... Intense than I would have liked. Doc Nine, welcome to the team. <laughs> All good. We're on Gina. Don't worry. Last time I ate twenty-four sliders, I was fifteen, dude. So, so when I was like eighteen, I took an Amtrak from DC to San Francisco to go meet a buddy, and um, this was like a three-day train ride. I didn't have enough to stay in the sleeper car, so I was just sitting in a chair for three days. And I only had enough money to eat at, like, the little cafe thing, so the only food they had was White Castle. I ate White Castle for every meal for three days. Oh, sliders, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It was miserable, dude. It was so awful. And then when I got there, so then I get to I get to San Francisco, my buddy picks me up, and he's actually living in like Sonora, California. He's working as a neon sign builder. So I get I I'm like, cool, all right. Sonora's in the desert. He lived in a tent behind the neon shop. Lived in a tent. And he's like, this is where we're gonna crash. I'm like, we're gonna sleep in a tent together. He's like, yeah, man. I'm like, how do you shower? How do you bathe? He's like, I have a bucket and a hose. I was like, F I'm homeless for a week? He's like, well, we have a tent. I was like, fuck, dude. Living in a tent in the desert sucks. We just got wasted the whole time. It was actually a really fun trip. That's the kind of shit you can do when you're 18 and 19 and you don't really care. How did that story start? Talking about White Castle made me sliders made me think of uh, <laughs> made me think of that time I lived off of sliders for three days, and then was homeless. And then and so that obviously I wasn't really bathing. So then I took a train back, 
I went down to San Francisco and, and like squatted with these punks and then took a train back and I was sitting next to this Scottish guy and we were like we're sitting next to each other for like days and I remember like we got really comfortable and by the end of it he was like he was like can I tell you something you fucking stink man <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm sorry. He's like, I've been sitting next to you for days. You fucking stink like shite. I surely did. Um, yeah, no, Lincoln is not wearing a top hat. I do not want a top hat on him. I want it to just be normal, the messy hair. What am I doing? Are you drawing, are you drawing this tattoo? That's cool. Um, okay, I need five more shards. What the fuck? I probably shouldn't have fought that tree because now I won't be able to summon my bros, will I? All right, well, mistakes have been made. And I do have to go do the fire thing, fire demon. All right. All right, all right, Zach, get your shit together. Ooh, I'm definitely going to buy the dried finger, right? Handy. And then let's do, let's do vitality. So I've never had White Castle from the blah blah blah. They suck. Where to next? Well, I'm okay. So next up, dude, I'm gonna do the dilapidated bridge. But I don't think you can lay your thing there. But that's where I'm headed. And then I'm gonna go under, get the Miracle Girl, fight the Fire Demon, get the Chloranthi Ring, and then get out of this this area. That's my goal. Came for a gallon of Estes. Was not disappointed. Okay. Should I order Uber Eats? Yeah, man, if you want to. Do it, dude. How did Stinky Zach get a throat goat? What the fuck does that mean? Oh, fuck. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. Zachary, are you still mad at me? Butt chug goes to Boston. No, I just... I, no, I'm not mad at you, dude. I just, uh... You were spamming the same message for two hours straight the other day. <laughs> I wasn't like mad, but I was just like, dude, what, what is the deal? Like, what do you need? I am though, you are what? Are you, I'll tell you Bill said hi. I don't know Bill. All right, I'm just gonna go open that gate, Ronjina. I didn't see your stone, your sign, but maybe it'll be there for some reason. Ugh, I'm just gonna run past all these fuckers. I don't wanna deal with all your shit. Boss is dead, no signs. Okay, that's what I was worried about. I did this in a really dumb order. Should have saved the boss till the end. Yeah, well. You live and you learn. Any luck on PS4? I think you mean 5. No, no luck. No luck. Although today it's 6. We will see. Come here, dog. Dude. I'm so excited for Demon Souls. I cannot wait. The other stuff isn't really necessary for a no death run. Well, yeah, I guess I don't really need to do the Onion Knight shit, right? I'm just gonna go... You're right. I'm just gonna go down... Oh, I do want to get the, uh, the Miracle Lady. So that, that's kind of necessary. You know what I mean? Are those guys gonna follow me? Okay, I may have I may have just made a huge stupid mistake here. Oh wow, Zach, you've okay, so this is bad. Come here. Uh oh, yep, yeah, okay. Whew. I uh, can't wait to play Cyberpunk. Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? I was watching a video about Cyberpunk. They said that it's going to be both generations compatible. So if you buy it like I think I might have for PS4, it'll work. It'll scale to PS5. I don't know how, but that's what they said. Which is pretty cool, right? What up, twerking? Why not just get the Xbox? Um, because PlayStation has too many exclusives that I care about. 
No, no, no. Zach, have you made any progress on the horror movie you wanted to make? I'm making progress. I mean, so right now I have an amazing A-list producer. That is huge progress. So what we're doing now is we're trying to figure out where the financing is going to come from. So we've got a, many, truly, we have, we have plenty of, of interested parties. Uh, it's about finding someone who's like going to legit, you know, come with the right budget and be creatively in line because you don't want to partner with somebody who doesn't have the same vision that you have. So we're, we're right now we're like, you know, we're trying to line that up. We're also out to cast. Which is, you know, we've had passes, but we've gone to like huge giant stars. So it's like, you know, a lot of the passes have to do with just schedules. Um, so we're still very early on in the process, but I'm feeling very excited. And, and I think you, you guys know how passionate I am about horror. And I, I just think that this is going to be a fucking mean horror movie. I feel really good about it. So um, hopefully, you know, hopefully it gets made. You know, there's still a thousand ways this movie could not get made. Movies get to the one yard line all the time and then don't get shot. That's normal. But, you know, I think you have to live in this kind of stupid optimism that I happen to have. So, yeah, dude, I feel good. Come on, you fuck. Uh, Steve Isky, thanks for gifting, my friend. Hype train call Sam. Jinx yourself like Mr. No, no. No, no. None, none of the reservations I had making that movie exist with this movie. I did not jinx myself. I have $40 in the bank if y'all need it. Let me know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you fuck! Wait, is it going to die because it looked like it fell off a cliff there? No. So I have to come back for that? Oh, no, there it is. Good. I guess I don't even really need a heavy generator. So, okay. Oh, 40k in the bank. Jesus. Yeah, dude. $300,000 donation to get murdered in Zack's movie. Um, if there was a if there was a part that I could fulfill, I would, but everyone that's going to get murdered in my movie is like one of the mains, so I can't do it, dude. Otherwise, I would say hell yeah. I also know that you're not telling the truth. But I tell you what, man, for 300k, I'll give you a big old murder part in uh, the Mars movie. No joke. You would be funding the movie. I would give you the part. But that, again, you're fucking lying. Oh, murder you, not on camera. Oh, that's a different person. Sure, sure. My husband and I were joking that donating weekly is like the movie is on a layaway plan. Worth every cent, but sorry, not in a lump sum. Yeah. Hype train level two. What's up? Shut the fuck up, Sam. I like your name. It's a good one. If he spends 300000 then they can just be a member of Whitest Kids? This is just a joke. In a moment, I'm going to go get some more kombucha. I got a fridge full of kombucha, dudes. Pink Panther 2, by the way, scariest movie of all time. You know what movie I watched last night? Have you guys seen Revenge, the French movie Revenge? I liked it. Uh, homeless Joe, what do you got yourself into this time? Oh. <laughs> oh. Kombucha tastes like vinegar? I know, and I usually hate vinegar, but uh, I don't know why I like kombucha. Running an ad, be right back.
Crazy saxophone. What up, dude? All right. Okay. I'm going to kill the... Should I? I guess... Does it matter if I kill the fucking dragon? I know to do the onion guys thing. I don't think the onion guy matters. I I'm going to just power through. I I'm sorry, Geralt. If that is your real name, you fucking asshole. Uh, Zach, have you seen the French movie La Haine? Yes, with uh, Vincent Cassell. Yes, I have seen that. Hot Fuzz. Yeah, Hot Fuzz is, is good. I liked Hot Fuzz. I liked Shaun of the Dead. I did not go in for the... Is it the bar at the end of the world? Or whatever it's called. That, that one didn't do it for me. That's okay, though. Those guys are talented dudes. They make good stuff. It's just, in my opinion, that that one is the only one I haven't I haven't dug of theirs. Come on. No death run also means no optional content. That's like interacting with every sketchy person in every dark alley when you're trying to walk home. That's right. Yeah, I don't have to go... Exactly. I need to be very shrewd. I never saw Paul. Paul was bad. I didn't see that one. Zach, why did you tell your wife to leave the pie out? No, I said, is it okay to leave this pie out? We bought a pumpkin pie this morning, and it's just sitting on the counter, and I'm like, I was wondering, does this need to be in a fridge? Is it okay to leave this out? And then I realized she's in the shower. She didn't hear me. So I was like, all right. Oh, Edgar Wright didn't direct Paul. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that would explain it. The World's End is my favorite of the Cornetto trilogy. Cornetto trilogy. First of all, I didn't know it was called that. Uh, that is a hot take. I haven't seen it since the theater, so I can't really speak about that movie articulately. I just remember I was like... Get me out of here. I was so fucking bored. Uh, get your mom to make a pie like a real man. Okay. Very cool. You gotta put it in the fridge. Pumpkin com compote left out will make you sick. Okay. Maybe I'll go put it in the fridge right now. That's kind of scary. Ah, I thought I killed you. These guys suck. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Uh, level three hand train. He's like, birthday cake, birthday pie, birthday cheesecake. Oof. That is a great question. Look, I love pies. I fucking love cheesecake. I oh, I would go birthday cheesecake, I think. I don't know. What's the right answer? Come here. Come here, you stupid dogs. Come here. Hey, Zach, are you a fan of the horror film You're Next? There's some very dark comedy in that movie. I... I, you know what? It's funny. I watched it recently. Like, I, I know Ty West very well, and I sort of know Joe Swanberg. So, I, I, for whatever reason, if I know someone, it, it's it's weird where I kind of don't want to watch their stuff. I don't know why that is. So, I had a, for a long time, I didn't really want to watch that movie. And then I did. Uh, and I liked it. I was like, oh, this is really well done. It's good. So, yeah. I, 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 I liked it. I didn't think it was that funny. But, um... But but I did think it was I did think it was a good time. It's a lot better than Hush. Maybe it's stupid to compare those movies, but uh, I, don't know. I, I I guess I associated them together before I saw either of them. Um, and and everyone here knows how I feel about Mike Flanagan, so I, I'll just leave it alone. But uh, yeah uh, yeah I thought your next was good. Do you support my day drinking during work hours during the pandemic? No. I don't think you're doing yourself any favors. Oh, why did I just grab you before I lit the fucking bonfire like an idiot? Why do I never learn? 
Uh, Paul Blart Mall Cop. Pretty scary. Cool, cool. Space Truckers. I don't know that movie. I used to day drink and I would just get so tired I would like go to bed at like 6 p.m. And I was like, what am I doing? What's the fucking point? Oh, watch your back there, dude. You got it? You got it. Look at him. <clears throat> Zach, what, what Blumhouse movie do you like the most? Well, Get Out and Whiplash. I like both of those. Maybe equal. Well, I probably like Get Out more than Whiplash, but I fucking love me some Whiplash. Um, other than that, though, I feel like, you know, that's the stock answer. Um, God, I don't know. I mean... I don't know. I, I What a great question. Insidious, I suppose? Even though I don't really love that movie that much? I'm not a fan of the Purge movies. Michael Myers versus Jason Voorhees, who wins and why? Jason would probably win, even though Michael Myers is a cooler villain, but I feel like Jason is more godlike. Michael Myers is a bit more mortal. But Michael Myers is way, way cooler. He's the OG, man. He started it all, baby. Actually, that's not true. Black Christmas started it all, but... As far as we're concerned, Michael Myers. <clears throat> so Sean the Elegant Nose Picking King. Rainbow Six Siege on sale for $10. I can't buy it for you until tomorrow, but if you think you'll play it, I would like to make it happen. I don't think I'm going to play Rainbow Six Siege. I don't know if you're talking to me, though. Don't poison me, bro. How are you alive? Uh, I've been catching my friends up on all the old dead Kennedys that is still relevant today. It's been cool watching them get into something... So old school, though. Yeah, dead Kennedys are good, man. Um, you know, Give Me Convenience or Give Me Death is really the only Dead Kennedys album that, I, that I'm, that i like, well-versed in. Um, but uh, it's a great record. I was listening to another... I was listening to another Dead Kennedys record just last week. Uh, and I thought it was cool, man. They're, they were... They shredded. Obviously, they're the fucking Ted Kennedys. I mean, they're they're stable, but they're great. They're frantically paranoid. Yeah, it's funny. I was reading that Al Jorgensen autobiography, who's worked with like all kinds of maniacs, and he's like, "There's I've only worked with two other people who are legitimately insane, who are like truly crazy people." And he's like, "One was Gibby Haynes, and one was Jello Biafra." All right, what do we think here? Ronjana, I was kind of thinking of going to the ladder and doing the, uh, you know, baiting those guys, heading down to the swamp, try to kill them on the ladder. Um, but maybe I'll go do this little loop, grab that Estes shard, and then and then do that before I hit the crystal sage, because I want to get I want to get the two large titanite shards from the upper bridge before I hit the crystal sage. I saw Jello Biafra live. He was in the front row and tussled his hair when he bent down to sing. He smirked at me afterwards. Oh, he tussled your hair. Okay, that's cool. He is a fucking... He has such a crazy voice. Like, who would have thought that a, a band with that guy for a lead singer would be so influential and legendary? I mean, his voice sounds like this. Whoa! <laughs> That actually sounded a lot like him, too. I kind of nailed that. If I may up myself. You love the Gibby Haynes, Timothy Leary story? I don't fucking know that story. Uh, all right, Ronjina, ready? I'm, gonna, I'm going for the... Uh, I'm going for the ladder, bro. Alright, let's 
see if I can get these guys to kill themselves. Woo! Got one. Oh, shit. I almost fell off this ladder. Got two. Nice. Oh, yeah. And I should go sell all my shit. Like uh, Crazy Sax was telling me yesterday. <clears throat> All right, onward. I blew George and Harvey's brains out. California Uber Alice is a tremendous song. That song's fucking great. You can't deny it. I wonder how Jerry Brown feels about that song. Isn't it insane that he's... The gov well, I guess he's not the governor anymore, but um, but that he was <laughs> he was the governor until very recently again. Fucking crazy. Man. Oh shit, dude! Ronjana, help me! Help me! Help me, Ronjana! You son of a bitch! Thank you. You just saved my life, dude. <laughs> I really need to pull my head out of my ass. I I have that story. Giving and Timothy Leary it involves seeing Johnny Cash in the Viper Room and Henry Rollins. Okay, I don't know it, man. Uh, 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 okay. Um, I'm feeling like soon, Ron Giant, and I might have to bounce you and Homer Bone because I, I only have one Estes Flask left. I think we can do this. I think we, I think you can do this. You just have to be my bodyguard. And then I'll be your long lost pal. And then I can call you Betty. Fill in the rest. What did Trevor do for his bachelor party? Any funny stories of that? I feel like his bachelor party was nuts. I don't think I was there for his bachelor party. I think they got a hotel room in Palm Springs and they had a paintball fight in the hotel room, I believe. And they trashed it and they got in trouble, obviously. Um, but I think I was working. Zach, have you made any progress on Toast of London? Since yesterday? No. Sorry, dude. There's nothing over there. Okay. okay. Oh, I fell. Okay, am I dead? No, nope, I'm not dead, but I might be dead soon. Ronjina, help me. I am about to die. Oh, and I'm out of Estes. Okay. Uh, Ronjina, you gotta bail, dude. I gotta bounce you. I'm about to die. Yep, I'm dead. Fuck! God! Damn it! Oh! I had to bounce him and hit the homeward bone, and I didn't have time to do both. Fuck! I should... I got greedy, man. I'm so fucking greedy. I should have... I should have bounced him and done the homeward bone before I even went there. God damn it. I know, I told you, it's not your fault. I fell off the bridge like an idiot. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, I was taking stupid risks. Better early than late? I guess so. Fuck, it's just so annoying. It's like, now I gotta go start all fucking over. Like, part of me is like, just keep playing. But no, I want to get a no death run. You're afraid you're going to get sucked out. Ah, it's so fucking annoying. Yeah, let me go put the pie away. Good call. Good call. God damn it. Oh my god, dude. 
Wait, did I just hit continue? No. Ugh. Oh, devastating. Devastating. At least your dog still respects you. Maybe. Yeah, could you hear her mocking me? Oh, God. Ah, oh, so annoyed. Oh, sorry, Rongina. I feel like... Sorry to everybody. Everyone's just watching me play the same four fucking levels over again. Hype train idea. Sarah says hi to stream. I don't think she's going to want to. I know her. She's shy. She doesn't want to. All right. Ah, that was so demoralizing. I'm just going to take all this rage out on this guy. You're dead. God damn it. Unreal. Zach, did you dog stuff duck her? What the fuck are you saying, dude? I have a phone call in an hour, but I'm good until then. All right, let's go, buddy. I, I also, in an hour, I'm going to stop, too. So when you do your phone call, <laughs> that's, when, that's when I'm done. Oh, my goodness gracious. Have you ever played Subnautica? I did. I liked it. I, I didn't finish it. It started to become a chore, but I liked it. Oh, I know why I didn't have that extra Titanite. Because I didn't make the jump here, and then I didn't go back and get it. So that's why I was like, why am I missing a Titanite shard? Mystery solved, Zach. You cracked the case. You're a goddamn... You know what? I, I started reading a book last night. Has any of you guys read Lullaby by Chuck Palahniuk? I started it last night. Pretty good. Sometimes he gets, like too repetitive for me. I'm not like a big Chuck Palahniuk fan by any means. Because like, he kind of writes with the exact same voice in every book where it's like, sitcoms, laugh tracks are all recorded in the 50s. So when you're hearing a laugh track, you're listening to dead people. And it's just like, that could have been in any Chuck Palahniuk book ever. Uh, but I am excited. You know what? I, I, I should read Haunted. I think I started Haunted because I was like looking up some list of like, what's the most fucked up book ever written? And, like, Haunted is always on that list. So I was like, oh, I should read that. Um, did your dog's rash that you got from the stuffed dick toy go away yet? Yes. Haunted is the best? Okay, I'm going to read Haunted for sure. I'm definitely going to read that. But I'm, I'm going to finish Lola by first because I'm liking it. Pygmy's funny. Short story called Guts. Rant. Yeah, I mean, he's... Dude, that guy's prolific as fuck. He writes a ton. You do less damage after the metamorphosis, I'm realizing. Oh, he knocked me there. Yikes, dude. If I could get as good at the other bosses as I am at this guy, psh, breeze. Um, you're right, you know what? I was playing through this the other day, and I was getting my ass kicked again and again by the two princes. Like, I don't know if I can beat the two princes. I guess if I go with Rongina and, like, O'Brien, I'll be able to. But, like, solo? No, man. I mean, I, I can, but not consistently. Alright, Guts is not safe for life. Cool. I, I want to read that. Why is Justin Bieber such a massive asshole? I think anyone would be a massive asshole if you were soaring to the level of fame and success at that age that he did. I just don't know how anyone could not be an asshole. Like, who... who what's an example of a, of a person who's gotten that famous at that age and hasn't turned into a complete dick? Who? Oh, right, right. Guts is one of the short stories that the writers do. Got it. Drew Barrymore. Okay, that's actually a pretty good Culkin. We don't really know about Culkin.
But yeah, I think you're right. He didn't turn out to be a complete dick. Elijah Wood. Now, now, granted, Elijah Wood was not at the level of Macaulay Culkin. And, and you could argue Macaulay Culkin was not the level of Justin Bieber. Macaulay Culkin also got real famous as a child. Justin Bieber as a teenager. And, you know, when you're a teen, you, you're an asshole anyway, you know? By the time Macaulay was a teen, he was already kind of done. You're worried about Aldrich? What does that mean? Who's Aldrich? Oh, Aldrich the boss. Jesus. I was like, Skeet Aldrich? <laughs> Aldrich Ehrenreich? I was like, who the fuck is Aldrich? Alright, come on, Zach. Come on, guys. Have you watched any of the Safety Bros work besides Uncut Gems and, and Good Time? You know what? No. I have not seen Daddy Log Legs, which I, I want to. Uh, no, I haven't, is the answer. Don't worry about Aldrich. We won't get there. Fuck you, dude. Who said that? Who, who am I banning for life? Grant, you bastard. All good, Grant. I know you're fucking with me. All right. Reinforce. A lot. Did I do that? Yes. And we're done. Pretty be careful. In Illinois, it's raining and it's 45 degrees. Brutal. You just finished Dune and it was fucking awesome. Yeah, I read Dune. I'm going to be honest. I'm like the only guy that didn't think that was the greatest thing ever. I don't know, man. I don't know what my problem is. I'm so picky. Obviously, I, I get Dune is a, is a masterpiece. It just, for whatever reason, it didn't work for me. Um, Desert Island System of a Down album. I don't listen to System of a Down. Go read the Horus Heresy. Okay. Michael J. Fox would have been a massive asshole, but he was humbled by his crippling. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't pronounce the S in Illinois, and I am in the wrong. I, yeah, do you say Illinois or Illinois? I always say Illinois. I think... Earlier in the stream, I said Illinois, but I, that was not what I normally do. Dustin Diamond. Well, he's supposed to be the biggest asshole in the world. Munch. Why are you why are you jumping for joy? O'Brien! Oh, I'm um, sorry to whoever this is over here. I, I, I apologize. Uh, Steve Coogan is the biggest asshole in the world. He I don't know if he's the biggest asshole in the world, but he's right, Let's get through this fucking busy work and get to the killing of the bosses. Nice. All right, I'm doing. Oh, well, that didn't work. It's all good. Um, the pros and Dune is kind of hokey. I mean, that was the, of the time, though. You know, and you know who I love. My favorite sci-fi author is Philip K. Dick. I fucking love Philip K. Dick, man. Just get a get a book of Philip K. Dick short stories and prepare to go to heaven. It's so great. Zach, would you consider yourself to be a celebrity? No, I would not. Is Dustin Diamond a juggalo? I, I, that would be surprising. I don't think so. But I heard that like the Save, Save by the Bell cast, they're doing some reunion or something, and whenever they get together, they like insist that he's not allowed to be there. Like they hated him. And he wrote like a book talking shit on everybody, and they were all just like, no, he's full of shit. 
He sucks. Although, didn't he beat the shit out of somebody in celebrity boxing? Have we talked about that on the stream? Dustin Diamond fought somebody, and, it, and he like he beat them up, and it was kind of rad. Hey, Zach, have you heard the conspiracy theory about how Dr. Seuss killed his first wife? Maybe Trevor's heard of it. I've not heard of it. Um, have you ever been noticed in public, Zach? Is it weird? Uh, yes, I have, and it's, no, it's not weird. It, it doesn't happen very often. Celebrity death. Ma it wasn't celebrity death match. It was like he really fought someone. Uh oh, did we just get invaded? Oh shit! I think he's down below. Oh no, he's this way. Okay, okay, okay. He's fighting. Look at this guy with his giant fucking weapon. Nice, dudes. Good job. How come that only gave me 150 souls? It's kind of bullshit. All right, let me get my... Nice. Nice, dudes. I'm doing 10% of the work. Uh, are you a fan of David Foster Wallace? Big time. Love him, dude. I'd say a supposedly fun thing that I'll never do again is like one of my favorite reading experiences that I've ever had. I love David Foster Wallace. I loved Infinite Jess. Consider the Lobster. Brief interviews with Hideous Men. These are great reads. Do yourself a favor. If you don't know where to begin with David Foster Wallace and you don't want to read the thousand page, you know, monster that is Infinite Jest, read... It's 100 pages. A supposedly fun thing I'll never do again is so amazing. It is hysterical. It is like, it's just great. I, I loved it so much. Uh, you like hearing him talk, but you can't read his stuff? Really? Dude, I mean, I love hearing him talk too, but uh, try again. Give him another try, dude. He's, he's amazing. Hot take, money defunded, hold on, hold on. From the military industrial complex should immediately be diverted to NASA and aid the expansion of public investment ownership of the space exploration. Okay, cool. Ever read P.G. Wodehouse? No, I don't know who that is. Um, I'm gonna go this way and get this sword, but I'll let you guys keep keep ruining these people. David Foster Wallace kind of looks like Jason Siegel is doing a Chris Gaines LOL. Okay. Uh, if I drop down, is this guy gonna... Oh, I'm gonna pickle over here. Ooh, could've been bad. Have you read The Three Men in a Boat? I read it a few years ago and could've, no, I have not read that. Three Men in a Boat, no. All right, all right, lads. We're doing it. This is going well. O'Brien, thank you. Nice. Um, tell you what, guys. Why don't we just go kill the boss? Let's just go kill the boss. And then I'll do the other stuff after. Well, let's go up and do these guys first. Okay. I just got greedy.
Uh, Zach, you're an absolute gem. Oh, thanks, buddy. I got to go to work so you can eat a whole pie tonight. Peace out. Thanks, but Oh, you got to go work out. Okay, man. Work out hard. Eat that pie even harder, buddy. You got it. Thanks for hanging, man. All right. Ooh, I got to refund Jim. Uh, you won't be able to do Dark Souls with friends in this area if you kill the boss first. That's a good point. However, I feel confident that I can do the other things I need to do. So it's all good. What are you doing? You healing? Sick. Uh, there's a great writer named Sam Pink you might like. Check out the book Rontel. Okay. If Trevor was going to stream a game, what game would he play? Yeah, what is he like? He'd probably play Call of Duty World at War. Or like one of those old World War II Call of Duty games that like only 500 people still play. He loves those things. God, I feel like I just did this. How did I die? Oh yeah, I fell off the bridge and then I got ganged up on and I had no Estus left and I was poisoned and I couldn't warp out of there because I had a buddy with me. God, that was such a, just a, a waterfall of mistakes. You know what I mean? That was just bad judgment. Ooh, speaking of mistakes, heal, dude. Thank you, thank you. All right, dudes, good work. Spark this daddy. And then I gotta go get the other Titanite, get the ring, and then and then move. I may as well go back to the shrine though, just because I don't want to die from stupidity. So let's let's boost my sword a little bit. Zach, have you ever read John Livingston Siegel? N no, Jonathan Livingston Siegel. No, I have it, too. I have that book here. I haven't read it. Have you read Kerouac? Yeah, I read On the Road. I'm surprised people in this room don't go crazy about uh, Vonnegut. Are we got some Vonnegut fans in here. What was the last thing I painted? I haven't painted in a long time. Probably that Black Panther that I showed on this stream at one point. One more. You love Vonnegut. Goldbug gets it. Goldbug's on my team. He's the best, dude. Uh, if the servers were still up, I'd stream Battlefield 2142. What the fuck? 2142? I don't even know what that is, dude. Okay. Ring first. Then... Monster, then I move on. Breakfast of Champions, yeah, Cat's Cradle is my favorite Vonnegut, but I fucking, dude, it's just, it's, he's just so good. Is that your computer I hear working overtime right now? Maybe. Do you hear my computer? Oh, read Cat's Cradle. It's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, la, 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 la. Okay, let's go get that ring. Let's go get Nathan Jr. I think I say that every time. All right, all right. This is all going swimmingly. Raising Arizona is Bay. Raising Arizona is is Bay. Hey, that's a very Bay movie. Oh, shit. Why did that happen? What's that G.G. Allen song, Die You Fuck? Oh, no, no, no. That's a Brain Bomb song. Never mind. Um. He's our baby too! 
That's awesome. All right, all right. All right, rabbit. Later, buddy. Kurt Vonnegut's opinions on which turtle is best. Hint, it's a box turtle. Okay. Cat's Cradle is a great first book to read by Vonnegut because it's broken up into very short chapters. True. Uh, it flies by. I read Slaughterhouse 5 for my first Vonnegut and liked it, but wasn't hooked until I read Cat's Cradle. Yeah. Cat's Cradle is... Yeah. I already said it. I already said it. It's great. Check out Outward. It's like an open-world, slower-paced Souls game. Really? That's pretty fascinating. You love when Zach reads comments without the context? I know. I, well, I just... Yeah, I know. I do it a lot. I don't read it all, but I think you should try reading this Cat's Cradle book. You should. Why wouldn't you? What's the argument against it? Ooh, people are hating on Outward. Have I done the Garrett quest line? Um... Not to completion. At one, I'm gonna have to hop off, guys. Which is which is soon. I got I got twelve minutes. Well, no, I'm a little bit longer. I want to I want to get get my dudes back and do a little bit more damage before. So so I'll, I'll push it a little bit, but not much farther. I'll beat the next boss with. Uh, Rangina and O'Brien, if they're still around. He's our baby, too! Well, which is it, young fella? You and I should freeze, or you and I should get down on the ground? Alright, let's see if I die here. Could happen. Definitely has happened in the past. Oh shit, okay, so that's what you don't want to do, is hit the wrong button. There you go, there you go. One, two, move. One, two, I think I got this. Got it. Uh, oh, people don't think I would like Outward? Okay, I'm skipping it, baby. Uh, let's go to the shrine. Breakfast of Champions was my first, and then went straight to Cat's Cradle after. Outward is an adverb. Is no, it's no, it's not. Grant. You never leave a man behind. Yes. Raising Arizona beans. All right. Nope. Didn't mean to come here. Okay. So, Ron John, I'm coming. I'm coming now, baby. Son, you got a panty on your head. Favorite Cronenberg movie? What a great question. Probably The Fly. Probably The Fly. Arswani, you're welcome, my man. Hand of Fate 2? Okay. Outer Wilds. Yeah, Outer Worlds I played. Outer Wilds I don't know about. Video Drum is great. And that's why I paused, because I was thinking of Video Drum. I do love me some Video Drum. Um, I like Cronenberg, man. That dude is not afraid to go there. You know, he will push it. It is fucking... You, you never know what you're going to get with him. And that's great. Have you ever watched Kenny vs. Spenny? Yeah, I like that show. It was fun. Zach, you should check out World of Van Helsing Death Trap. Is that a game? Okay. Choom, what up, dude? Yes, I am ready. At six, I will be there, dude. Hey, Griffin. Did I already say this to you? If you can get one, if you can get any in your cart, throw two in there. I will, I will buy it off you, dude. And I'll try and put two in my cart. I mean, you won't have trouble unloading them. Um, God, I want to get that fucking game. There's still a crowd. I see you. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever. Wait a minute. What is this? It's nearly 8 a.m. I need to crash. Yeah, buddy. Santa crab, go crash, man. You, you need to work on your sleep hygiene, homie. Outer Wilds is like a shortish solar system exploration puzzly with a nice Appalachian field. That, nothing that you just said helped me understand what that game is. 
An outer space puzzle with an Appalachian feel? What? Oh my god, speaking of Appalachian feel, I tried to watch uh, 10 minutes of um, that new Ron Howard movie. And I read that book, so I was like ready for to watch the movie. I was like, okay, I've, I've read this book, I get it. What, what the fuck is it called? Hillbilly Elegy? Holy moly. Have you guys tried to watch that? Good, sweet mama Jesus. That's a... Uh, oof. Okay, so wait, what is this? What is this? Yeah, Hillbilly Elegy was a good book. I enjoyed it a lot. Wait, what? Devil All the Time. Wait, what's Devil All the Time? I feel like I've seen that. Oh, wait, Rangina. Did I just blow past your fucking soapstone, dude? Fuck, I'm sorry, man. Hang on. I, I think I did. Let me go back and look. Sorry, sorry, dude. I'm just I've got my head in my ass. Where is it? Fire gem. Not bad. Behind the wagon wheel? Do you guys see it and I don't see it? What what the fuck? Am I bugging? Won't you be my wagon wheel? Dude, it is not here. Behind the wagon wheel? What the fuck? Oh, he's screwing me. Okay, beans. Dude, maybe we're having a server issue. Will you stream Cyberpunk? Fuck, yes I will. It's by the fire, dude. Oh, there it is. It just appeared. You gotta live a life. Show enough. What up, show enough? All right, dudes, I'm going ahead. The Billy Madison way. The Billy Madison way. Yeah. Dude. Best movie ever. Is that the best movie ever, guys? Oh, passing third grade. <laughs> yeah! Fuck yeah! Oh. I can't believe I fucking died at that thing. God, that was so fucking pathetic. Gah! Come here, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna take it all out on you. Sodomy. Oh, what a glorious day here. Ooh, look at you guys already taking matters into your own hands. Very cool. Nice. Look at us just destroying. Just merciless. Ruthless. All right, I'm going to get that shard. Woo! And then we're gonna go the Rongina path. Rongina, I'm just gonna meet you down there, buddy. You do your thing. I'm just gonna keep. I'm gonna drop down from the from the roof here. Ow! Storm of Swords. Yeah, I'm getting fucking chewed up. Oh, wait. Sorry. Oh my god, Zach. I'm playing badly. There we go, there we go. Oh, what a Man, am I glad I called that guy. <laughs> oh my god, I thought that was the fucking funniest thing. Oh my god. Dude, that movie killed me as a kid. The disgusting blob. Fucking hilarious. 
I think my favorite joke the first time I watched that movie is when the clown is singing. He's like, hey, kids, it's me. I'll bet you thought that I was dead. Oh, God. Oh, no! I fell off. <laughs> oh, yeah, the game show host where he's like, if I catch any of you cheating, especially with my wife, who is a dirty, dirty whore, then I am just going to snap. <laughs> oh, my God, that was amazing. He called this shit poop. Dude, I could literally just read Billy Madison quotes for the rest of the day. <laughs> if pee in your pants is cool, then consider me Miles Davis. That's the most disgusting thing I've ever heard in my life. Let's go! I think he says, oh my god, that's the grossest thing I've ever heard. I don't know. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. You're getting blended, bro. You walked down the wrong street, bitch. Where are you from? Yo, what set you claim? You're dead. Yeah, what you just said is the most incredibly idiotic thing. Yeah. At no point in your rambling, incoherent answer. That was so fucking good. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. That's basically what that judge said to Rudy Giuliani this week. <laughs> that was pretty great. Jesus, that guy hits hard. For a little dude, you've got a lot of fight in you. You know what movie I want to see? Has anybody seen... What is that Shia LaBeouf movie that just came out? The Tax Collector? Where he plays like a cholo gangster? What the fuck? Have you guys seen the trailer for this? Did you ever see Dirty Work? Dirty Work is great. Love Dirty Work. Yeah, Look up the trailer for Tax Collector. Shia LaBeouf plays a cholo gangster. And, like, I don't know what to make of it. I don't know if it's going to be good. I love Shia LaBeouf, by the way. Don't get, don't get me fucking going. I think he's, like, the greatest actor alive. Um, LaBeouf. I mean, he's, he's tremendously talented. Which is why I want to see this movie that otherwise I would think is going to be garbage. But if, like, Shia is going to play, like, some crazy cholo gangster, yeah, sign me up, dude. I'm interested. All right, what should we do here? Should we fight this tree? And then I think I gotta call it. I think that's what I think that's what's in order here. Homicidal cannibal Shia LaBeouf is he? Honey Boy was gr I loved Honey Boy. I thought that movie was fantastic. Big fan. Can Tobey Maguire be in your horror movie, please? I'm gonna say probably not. We did. We actually did put it. We we. Just, we, we sniffed out Shia if Shia would be down, and the answer came back was like, no way in hell. <laughs> they were like, he's not going to do a horror movie. He's like working with De Niro as a director. Like, he's, no, it's not going to happen. Like, all right, all right, had to ask, had to ask. Love him. Ah. I didn't see the Peanut Butter Falcon. I wonder if that's good. He is on the De Niro level of fame. He's not there yet, but I feel like he could be. I think he's on the De Niro level of talent. I think he's that talented. I think he's like on the Joaquin Phoenix, De Niro, like Daniel Day-Lewis level. I really do. I think he's that good. Dude, Honey Boy, are you? F uh, wait, was I was I just gushing about American Honey or Honey Boy? He's done two Honey movies, both are phenomenal. 
I thought I was talking about American Honey, but maybe I'm talking about Honey Boy. Have you actually, have you never seen actual Cannibal Shia LaBeouf? No, I haven't. I don't know what that is. Should I watch that? Fucking this dude up. You're fucking dead, dude. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. Are those things not blabs? I guess those aren't real blabs. Munch is doing it right. I'm gonna go, go over here. Oh, he got me, boys. I don't think I'm gonna die, but I'm gonna be very injured. Oof. We gotta, we gotta fucking end this, guys. Kill this dude. There it is. Nope. Look out! Oh, okay. I am very hurt. Oof. That was almost death for me right there. Jesus. Munch is dead. I am on death's door. I'm dead. Ah! Unreal. Unreal. Shia enters screenwriting competitions that are meant for up-and-coming writers. It's fucked up. Oh, uh, okay. Totally disheartening day of, of uh, Dark Souls. Just one of, just one of them days. Uh, whoop, that's the wrong one. Uh, fuck it. Go watch Shia LaBeouf by Rob Cantor and cheer yourself up. Okay, I will. Watch the video. All right, all right. I got handled today, guys. I got fucking handled. Um, but it's all good. Thanks for, thanks for your help, O'Brien. Ronjina, I appreciate it. Show enough, thank you, my friend. Fucking brutal. Who do we raid? I'll raid anybody. I'm crazy like that. I, I, I don't give a fuck. Raid Daniel Sloss. Is that good? I'll get it next time. You're right, you're right. All right, guard the bunny, yeah. Shoot, shoot me that. Don't, don't post it. Will you not post it for me, Guard the Bunny? I don't want the whole world weighing in on this. I, I mean that. Please, just just DM it to me. Don't put it up on Reddit like, this is the tattoo Zach's going to get. I don't want that. Um, Retro Read Rules, you were nicer today. I appreciate you, buddy. Uh, all right, dudes. Cool. Raid Lurkin? Yeah, I'll raid Lurkin. Is he, is he around to be raided? Let me check. Let me check. Lurking deep. Let's do it. All right, dudes. Your meeting got canceled. Well, enjoy your day off. Then. I don't know. Thanks for joining. I can't. I got. I got. I got to stop. Um, all right, y'all. Love you, dudes. See you later. Happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? I think it is. Yeah. All right. Bye, guys.